This is Stacy from Brands Automotive. Just making a little video. Um, there's not too many videos on the CX-7 all-wheel drive engine removal procedure. Um, I had it out here a little bit ago on the lift. You don't need a lift to do this job for sure, but I had it out here on the lift just to take the axles out and the nose off and the splash shield. Um, drain the coolant and oil. Um, took the hood off. Just sitting over there. Um, basically, put the whole front end back together, which was just slipping in the bottom ball joint bolt after I took the axle out and the uh, tie rod in that. Once I got all that stuff put back on, I put it back on the ground. So I could roll it in my shop. My shop's kind of small. Um, so I, it's really cold. I live in Oregon, so it's never very warm. Anyways, so I got it in here so I could do the actual rest of the job until I got to put the front end back together or whatever. Then I'll probably put it back on the lift just because it's a little bit easier, faster. But um, there's not really many videos or how-tos or not much on getting this contraption out of here. There's not any way to take just the engine out without taking the lower crankshaft pulley off, which on a Mazda is a big no-no. It takes it out of time because there's no keyways or diamond washers holding all the timing together. So once you loosen that bolt, the crankshaft pulley moves even a tick. You're shit out of luck. You're doing a timing job. So really the only way to do it is lower it out the bottom like the factory wants, which is taking the whole subframe off everything out the bottom. You can do it like that. I do it like that. But not when it's freezing cold outside. And I can do it inside. So doing it inside, um, you got to do the same thing to... Uh, basically, you're moving all the same stuff. You got to take the headlights out. The bumper support. The core support. Once you get that out, it's pretty much a straight shot. And you can see the engine very easily. Um... I like to take the hoses off. On the, usually I like to take the hoses off at the engine, but this I'm probably going to take it off at the radiator here. And um, with the radiator hose on the very bottom. Um, but anyways, to get this out, you're removing all this crap. You are removing all this crap. All this. All right. Once you get all this stuff out, which looks like a lot, sounds like a lot, it's really not that bad. It is time consuming. It does take 12 hours, roughly, even with all the right stuff. That's if nothing goes wrong. Um, and all the part, and you got all the parts right there, um, which I try to do. Anyways, on this, um, let's see. I'm probably going to remove the intercooler just so it's a little bit shorter. Don't have to worry about the chain hitting it. Um, <coughs> New motor, the new one doesn't come with an intercooler, so it's got to be swapped over. Um, let's see, what else was I going to say? Um, anyways, once you get all this stuff out, you're basically going to do the motor mounts, undo the bulkhead wiring connector. I believe there's a wiring connector in this fuse box. Can't remember. It's been a while since I did a Mazda. I'm pretty damn sure there is. I'm trying to get this out of the handy, but easy. Yeah, there's a wiring connector right here that has to be undone. You just pull up on this handle. There's a little black lock on there um, right here. Let's push that to the side. And so, anyways, um, I leave everything all wired up. I do the bulk plugs, the charge wire, and taking the engine and the transmission. This one's all-wheel drive and the transfer case all out together. The only thing that I had to do underneath was undo the dog bone, motor mount, both the axles, and the drive shaft, and the exhaust. And I put it back down on the ground, or should be able to do everything else from up here. And if anything else, if I come across anything else that would be worth putting on a video, I'll make a second part to this. Alright man, you guys have a great day. Once again, this is Brian's Automotive, 2011. Mazda CX-7, 2.3 liter turbo.
motor swap.